today I have my second set of Monster X's Follow Find You albums to open. I ordered these albums from G Market from the official Starship store. That appears to be what Starship is using for their international albums now instead of their previous partnership with OKVIT. OK Based on this one order, I definitely prefer this to the previous partnership. I pre-ordered these albums. The album was released on Monday in Korea. The album shipped from Starship on Wednesday and they shipped from G Market on Saturday and I received them Monday. Which is much, 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 much better than the weeks to months that it sometimes took for the OKVIT OK orders to get to me. They shipped with DHL shipping, although one weird thing is that these albums were actually in three separate boxes. I ordered one set of all four versions of the albums and then an extra copy of two other versions of the album. And the set of albums was in one box, one of my extra copies was in another, and the other extra copy was in a third box. I don't know why they did it that way, I don't know why they didn't just put them all in one box. And so I had three poster tubes as well, because they came with posters. I didn't realize they were going to come with posters, but they did. I'm not going to be showing the posters. I realize I didn't show them in my last unboxing either, but the pictures of the posters are the same pictures as the ones on the back of the track list cards for each version. And these albums came with exclusives as well, much like they used to do the OKVIT OK exclusives. If you ordered a set of four albums, you get an exclusive set of member photo cards. If you ordered an individual album, you get an exclusive group Polaroid. I do have the Kino kit coming as well. I had to order that separately from a different website because when I tried to order it on G Market, it wouldn't let me. I think there may be some kind of shipping restriction, but I'm not entirely aware of what that is because I've never bought a Kino album before. So here is the set of all four albums and you can see the set of photo cards through the bubble wrap. I was recently informed that if you order an album from G Market, these little slips that you can see in here, you have to use those to authenticate your album so that the purchase will be counted on the music charts in Korea. I was not aware of this, so I had not done that for any previous album. Here's a closer look at the instructions telling you what to do. So you have to scratch off this QR code here, then you scan that QR code with this app that you're supposed to download, and then you scan the barcode of the album, and that will confirm the purchase to the charts. I won't be doing a full unboxing of any of these albums because I have already done an unboxing. I will link that in the description below. This is just going to be a photo card and other random bonuses reveal. But of course, before I get into that, I have to talk about how basically everything fell apart after I filmed my first unboxing. I mentioned briefly in my last unboxing how Woojin had left Stray Kids and how that was really surprising and shocking. Little did I know that a couple days later something even more surprising and shocking would happen to Monster X. And I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm talking about even if you aren't a mom baby because it's kind of been all over social media since it happened. And that is that Wonho left Monster X. And this was something that I honestly never, ever in a million years saw coming. Like, I knew military enlistment was coming up, and Shono is supposed to enlist next year, and there was a possibility that Wanho would as well. So I was prepared for the group to be promoting with less members. I was not prepared for any of them to officially leave, especially not Wanho because he has always been very dedicated to the group and very dedicated to the fans. There are clips going around on Twitter from their concerts of his ending mints where he talks about, you know, talking with the other members if they're going to renew their contracts when contracts come up for renewal and how they're all like, yeah, you know, we'll definitely do it. And I know stuff happens and that changes. I honestly wasn't really expecting all seven of them to renew when that time came. I wasn't, you know, that naive. But that's why the situation is so difficult because it's very clearly not a case where there were creative differences or he decided idol life wasn't really for him. And even though the statements make it sound like it was on his terms, it was, but it was in a situation where he felt like he had no choice, if that makes sense. 
So it's like, yes, it was his choice, but at the same time, what other option did he really have? Right around the time that this album came out, some malicious rumors started spreading on social media, most of them from a particular source, the majority of them regarding Wanho, but a couple popped up about Shono as well. I am not going to get into the specifics of those rumors because, in my opinion, none of them are worth this witch hunt, even if they are true, and there's no proof that any of them are. I know I mentioned in my last unboxing that Minhyuk had kind of overtaken Wanho for my number one bias spot in Monsta X, but as I've said before, Monsta X is a group where every single member really honestly and truly is very, very important to me. And Wano in particular truly has been a very important figure in my life for the past three years that I have been a mom bebe. And it's very difficult for me to imagine a future in which we may very well never see or hear from him again. There's a lot of campaigns on social media right now regarding this situation, and while I would absolutely love for everything to be resolved neatly and for Wanho to return to Monsta X, at the same time, I know how unlikely that is, and I don't want to give anyone false hope. As of right now, we really truly do not know what the future holds regarding this group or any of the seven members. But I do just want to reiterate that I love all seven of them dearly, and I have every intention of continuing to support all seven of them, whether that is together or apart. So here we have the G Market exclusive group Polaroid. Pretty similar in style to the Polaroids from the Are You There and We Are Here albums. I'm not sure if it's the same size or not, but I would assume it is. That's what the back looks like. No VLive codes this time. I guess they've done away with those. And this is the set of member photo cards that you get when you order a set of four albums. I was fortunate enough to pull one of Wanho's cards in my albums last time. When the news uh, about his departure came out, I did go ahead and buy some of his other photo cards for this album off eBay. I did not buy the Lyric book, the sandy, or the bookmark though, so I'm hoping I can pull some of those today, because I'm sure the prices for his goods will skyrocket now, because he was already a popular member, and of course now we know they're probably not going to make any more once this print run runs out. So we have Shonu's photo card. Oh, I'm so sad. This is the cutest. I'm so sad. It's really, really hard for me to picture this group without any of the members, but I really, really have such a hard time imagining them without him. So we have Minhyuk looking beautiful and adorable Kihyuni. Kyungwon also looking handsome. Juhani with that very bold hat. And then Chung Hyun looking absolutely adorable. So my extra copies are version 2 and version 1. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at those first. And these albums come with one random member version specific photo card, one random member ID card. There are two different versions of those, but those are the same across all versions. One random member transparent bookmark one random member sandy, and a random member lyrics booklet. The members in Monsta X that I collect are Wanho, Minhyuk, Kihyun, and I am. I have everyone's lyric booklet except Wanho, and I'm really hoping to pull his lyrics booklet. Oh, I got Hyungwon's. And that is a freaking beautiful picture of Hyungwon. I adore his long hair that he had earlier this year, and that is such a beautiful picture of him with it. I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. I might have to keep an extra copy of the album just so I can keep this booklet too. Oh my gosh, that is literally... I am such a sucker for long hair, and it looks so freaking good on him here. He's so beautiful. I 
I'm really happy to have pulled this one. I honestly might end up keeping seven copies of this album just so I can have everybody's lyrics book. But we shall see. Yeah, see, he cut it shorter. For some of the pick. <gasps> he has the hourglass thingy! He has the hourglass thingy. Okay, see, this is another reason why it's so sad, is their entire concept for the majority of their music videos, and particularly in the Find You video, and the way that that music video draws from the previous videos and concert VCRs, basically, like, the entire theme of most of their music videos is about the seven of them finding each other. Like, that's literally what Find You is about, and now they're being torn apart in real life. It's like, listen, when they say life imitates art, we don't want it to be like this, man. So here's our random stuff. Oh, I forgot our bookmark. So we got a young one bookmark as well. I have already pulled one of his bookmarks, so this one is going to end up for trade or for sale. For my standee. <gasps> I got one who's standee. I'm so sad. <laughs> and for the ID card, you can see the birthday on the back, so you can already tell who it is. Oh! And I got a young one a photo card and ID card. I said in my last unboxing that I was probably going to have a really hard time trading Hyungwon pools this time around. I really, really would love to just collect all of OT7, honestly, and I'm more tempted now than ever, but I know it would not be a wise financial decision. That was almost entirely a Hyungwon album. That's kind of amazing. Other than the Wanho standee, literally everything I pulled in that album was Hyungwon. Now let's take a look at my extra copy of version 2. Let's see. For the lyrics booklet. Oh, I got Shonu. I haven't pulled Shonu's yet. So let's take a look at that. Also very gorgeous. I really like the photo concept that they use in the lyrics booklet. It's kind of a shame we didn't actually get... Well, I guess we do get a photo book with that concept if you combine all the lyrics books together. See you again. Oh, that song hits so differently now. And Find You does too. I haven't been able to listen to any of the rest of the album since Wednesday. But those two songs are really, really hitting differently. So now I'm just missing I Am Standy out of the members I collect. <gasps> okay, we got You Honey again. And oh, I actually did pull another one whole card. Oh, oh, and I got his bookmark too. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. And this is just gonna be me every time I pull anything Wanho in this album now. Cause it's just the whole situation is really just so so unfair. If you don't know the situation, it probably seems like I'm being like needlessly dramatic about a member leaving, but it's so much more than that. Oh, that's why the situation is so upsetting. But I'm very happy to have pulled his standee and his transparent bookmark thing. They call it a bookmark. I don't know why. It's really just like a little figure of him. I'm so sad. And then the ID card. I can tell from the birth date this is going to be Jew Honey. So here is version one from the set of four albums that I bought. I got Jew Honey's lyric booklet. So now we have pulled every member's lyric booklet except for Wanho. 
I love his hair color here. I'm always a sucker for blue hair. And he pulled it off really well. Some really interesting artsy shots. This one, the way it's shot, almost reminds me of some of the mirror type pictures from Stray Kids I Am You album. Just a little bit. I can't get over what a gorgeous shade of electric blue his hair is. Do I have that giant hat? This photo concept is the one that was in the G Market exclusive photo cards. I sent blue contacts too. I hadn't noticed that. Okay. And now for the random stuff. I still need. Oh, we got another one of Wanho Standy. Oh my word! I'm low-key regretting my decision to go buy all his photo cards. though I still remember the very first Monsta X album I ever bought. I didn't even have a bias in the group yet. And I remember I got Wano's photo card and I'm pretty sure I pulled at least one of his cards in every single album that I ever bought. Like not every single album but like say I bought two Clan Part 1 albums. I would get him in at least one of them. I don't think there's ever been an album where I haven't pulled a single Wano thing. Like, I've always been incredibly blessed at pulling his cards. And that's, like, such a first world... Like, of all the things to be sad about with this situation, that's such a first world problem. But, like, I'm still sad that, like, that's not gonna be a thing anymore. Looks like we got Hyungwon's other card here. We did! And something that's interesting is... So there are M versions and X versions of the ID cards. And I was very confused when they came out because it said there were six M versions and eight X versions instead of seven and seven. So I didn't know what that meant. But the reason for that is that both of Hyungwon's are X versions, which I'm sure is theory related and has to do with like him being in a different universe or timeline or something. This is something I would have gotten really excited about a few days ago. But suddenly all the theory stuff seems way less exciting, unfortunately. So here's our copy of version 2 from the set. We got Hyungwon's lyric booklet again. I'm not going to go through it again. I just did. And then for the photo cards. Oh. <clears throat> the main photo card came out. I got Shonu for that one. It's very interesting to see Shonu in a choker. It's not a look he usually goes for. I guess it might be a scarf, but it looks like a choker in that picture. Let's see what else. I got another one of Hyungwon's ID cards. I'm pulling a lot of Hyungwon today. Oh! I got Ki Hyun's little bookmark, and I think. I know I pulled Min here last time. I think I pulled I Am last time, too. If I did pull I Am, then I pulled all four of the little bookmarks of the memories I collect. And then for my standee, I got Min Hyuk. Okay, so now let's take a look at version 3. I got I Am for the lyrics booklet. I did pull I Am's lyric booklet in my first unboxing, so I will link that in the description below if you'd like to see the pictures in there. And then for the photo cards, I'm pretty sure I pulled this last time, but even if I didn't, I have I Am's bookmark now. So I have all four of my biases bookmarks. We have Shonu's standee. Okay, I can tell from the back this is going to be one of I Am's cards. And it is. I think I pulled one of his in my first unboxing, but I don't remember which one. 
probably should have paid more attention to that. But I have this X version now. And then for the album photo card, I got Jew Honey. Beautiful blue hair. And then finally, we have version 4. I'm going to save the lyrics booklet for last because I'm like... Let's see. I got IM's Standy, so now I do have all of my vices transparent bookmarks and standees, so that's wonderful because the oddly shaped items like that are a lot harder to trade than photo cards. And we got Jew Honey's bookmark. That's a very interesting outfit. I think it's just a really long shirt, but it almost looks like a skirt. And then for the ID card, oh, it's going to be a Kihyun one. I got that one of Kihyun. And then for my main photo card, I got Juhani again. Very beautiful. And then the lyrics booklet, I'm almost scared to look. Okay, we got a we got a duplicate of Juhani. So I did not pull Wanho's lyric booklet, which means I have to either try and trade for it or try and find somebody selling it, not for an exorbitant price. That is it for today's K-pop haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more unboxings or K-pop hauls like this one, or videos from some of the concerts I've been to, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, I do still have the Kino version of this album coming in the mail, and I will be unboxing that as soon as it arrives, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.